Hello, and welcome to the Project Relax Talk. I am your host, Smokey, and joining with me, as always, is my co-host, Spooge. Alright, so today we, we're going to be talking about television and certain TV shows in general. And we're yes. just, and, and of course, before we start it, we were uh, talking about Lost. Yes, lost and the bits that I remember and the things that you learned from a YouTube video. <laughs> okay, so th- it's an extensive YouTube video. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, you're probably. It, I, I'm three... saying that you're probably more up to date with it from me. Is, <laughs> uh, I, well, I watched this. It, the last it, time I watched Lost, I was still in Germany. <laughs> oh man, I was. Uh, uh, I didn't uh, mean to go down this rabbit hole, but uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Billium. Uh, made a three-hour video just describing mm. the very first season and i, I kind of had I, I just had it on in the background you know as background noise at first mm. but then i had to restart it because he started going over like all the plot twist and he, he actually went into the actual making of the show and he would kind of cover making of each episode as well so it it was just intriguing how they were making the show. I I'm so conflicted. Like, I want more shows made like that, but I want I want them to have some kind of plan. And st- if that makes sense. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Huh? What was that? I don't know. <laughs> <All right. laughs> But anyway, but yeah, lost. Okay. Okay, just <laughs> okay. So what I what I'm getting at is uh John, my my favorite character so far. I I've I'm only I'm only aware of the very first season and how it ends because oh, everybody's shit, John Locke. John Locke, yes, he is my favorite character so far. <laughs> I, I liked Ben too, but just because he was such an ass. <laughs> uh, he, I mean, he. Uh, it, it's just so fucking. He's so fucking weird, and and they're they don't really explain why he's weird. I just feel the <laughs> island has possessed him in some kind of way. He's just got. The, he's got the responsibilities, man. He knows how it fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just does just fucking listen to him. That's all I remember. Just fucking listen to. Listen to John. <laughs> Seems to know what's up. Oh, uh, you know, he, it, it was weird because uh, uh, they, they, there's a plot twist that uh, before the plane crash, John was a pair, uh, a paraplegic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the the island just, healed him. Yeah, <laughs> and and that's what was his big deal and why he was so sacred towards it. Mm-hmm. What's that beeping? Is there beeping? I sound, sound. Oh, oh. My alarm was going off. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what, what the fuck's the noise? My bad. But then I I remember the first thing that pulled me into that show, and this would have been, oh, because this would have been Germany. I, I don't know when the first episode even came out. It would have been. It was, it was like 2005. What grade I think. would I have been? It, 2005? It like, yeah, it, it, it's. Quite an old show. I would have been eleven. <laughs> it it was. Uh, it was. Th- so this is definitely a show what that grade I was. Would a- that be? That would be like third grade or like second grade. Uh, I don't know how grades work anymore. Two thousand five. <laughs> I was in. What grade was I in in two thousand five? I think I was in. Let's see here. I know I was in kindergarten, pre K, like in two thousand. And now, no, in 1999, I was in pre-K. Kindergarten would be 2000. First grade. Yeah. Uh, That's, that makes sense, because I would have been in I'd be like transition in, in 2001. I'd be like fifth grade, sixth grade, depending on what time of year it is. So then it probably would have been like, uh, yeah, I would have been in third grade, because I was a year behind, too, and I would have been behind you, too, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I, yeah, I just, it would have been third grade. And I remember the seeing the fucking smoke monster. <laughs> uh, that that's actually kind of one of my gripes. I I do not give a fuck about the monster aspect of the of the island. I 
Well, because at first they, it was like, because they never explained it until like a long time of even what the fuck that was. They were just like a smoke monster full of fucking faces that would come and fuck up your shit. And you'd be like, what the fuck was that shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, get, I get that. I get that. I, 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 that. That's one aspect of Lost that I, I just don't like. There's so many other plot twists and, and plots going on in it. I just feel that that's extra mystery that we don't need. Because well, the, the there's so many, there's so much fucking mystery. Dude. Oh, I didn't even fucking, I didn't even know. Uh, cause yeah, I've only been in season one. You're spoiling, you're spoiling the documentary. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> we're never going to watch care. it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> but no, I didn't know the fucking smoke monster was just some dude. Well, that, that... it's a little bit more complicated than that, but it's, I don't even, I don't even know if they knew what he was. He was some fucking like, became a god on the island. It was really stupid cause they, they they made him have a human form, and then it was like, oh, this is really fucking dumb. It, it, I the wish human, it was just a it's, smoke it's monster. The hum, is the human form in the form of it? it does, does it look like Jack's dad? I I, I don't remember. What, what, okay, what what's with the fucking? How is Jack dad alive on the island? Damn it! I don't even remember that that yeah. plot line. <laughs> the fucking Jack's okay because the whole point the the whole reason why Jack was on the plane was he was fucking transporting his dad's coffin back to america uh his dad's body and coffin was on the plane and they end up finding the coffin and the coffin is empty <laughs> i remember the dun, lottery dun, numbers dun. Being, i remember the lottery numbers being the ones that you need to put into the into the fucking whatever the fuck like the the bunker <laughs> like the bomb bunker oh yeah the which, hatch that the, the, they opened yeah. up. The, they've opened up, but they haven't gone down. And we, I have to yes. wait until fucking Billiam covers season two to know. Oh, shit. Is. Oh, I'm giving more spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I've only, I only know season one extensively. And anything after season one, I, I don't know jack shit about. It's up the end. I know how it, I, I know it ends with everybody in a church. And then everybody just walks out the church, and then you're it's supposed like to be like, bright. "What the fuck it's is like that?" <laughs> Everything is white in it too, so it's like it's very purgatory esque. <laughs> it's like they make it look all dreamlike. Uh, it's uh, very, very disappoint, very upsetting. The, the... <laughs> and it's like, oh, it's the thing that everybody was like that they everyone. All the fans first guessed, and then it became such a mainstream guess that everyone's like, nah, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's dead. Dun, dun, dun. Would have even been better if it was, uh, if it was Huel's, uh, not Huel, uh, what is fucking Hugo? What, what's the dude's name? What's the big fat dude's name? I, uh, Her, Hurley? Hurley? Hurley. Har Hurley, yeah, Hurley. Hurley. Yeah. If it was Hurley's dream. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I, I would just, accept that more. He just woke up like stoned in his room. <laughs> uh, that that would have been great. That would have been great. <laughs> but uh, I, 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 okay. The the reason why I wanted to talk, I'm I'm conflicted on if TV shows should be written like this or not. The the Hurley's dream, by the way, is a Thirty Rock reference. <laughs> I got you, got you. But I, I was good. Um, I, I I'm conflicted on how they wrote the series. Because mm -hmm. if if you don't know, J J Abrams, uh, wrote the uh, I don't think he wrote the actual like whole series, but I know he wrote. He was attached to the pilot, and he has this writing thing where he's like. You, you got to make a mystery box. Uh, mm -hmm. You, you got to, it's not about an answer. It's about creating a question and then answering that question later down the line or not even at all, just keeping it a mystery, mm -hmm. which it's, it's very conflicting because I, I feel that that is a good, right? When it comes to a TV show, uh, yeah, I'm guessing like now it's it's different with streaming, but back then, when it comes when it comes to a TV, that's like a very good way to write your TV show. It's mm -hmm. it's because there, I feel that 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 leaks 
uh, can't get out as much then, and then it's you you can gauge the fans' guesses and everything, and then if they're guessing a little bit too much close to home and you want to keep it a little more vague, you can tweak it to where you need to to keep it still mystery for the fans. And mm-hmm. you, can constant, you can constantly be uh, keeping them on their toes, you know, because you're, you're constantly subverting their expectations. But they don't have a plan... Which leads to the god awful ending that we get. <laughs> it, it's it's like because eventually they do have to make a plan, but it's too late to make a plan. You you just got to keep writing it. Because <laughs> it do, doesn't eventually they it, the, the whole point it, it, it turns from them like surviving on the island to them thriving on the island. Yeah. I I don't I I don't remember I just remember fucking I remember them the whole thing with the fucking numbers and the hatch and like <laughs> that the no, okay that uh, there's because uh, I'll start explaining I'll start I mean I'm gonna start going to spoilers if I start gotcha, explaining gotcha <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah, wanna... but I mean like they'll they'll be mi- they won't even be that great of spoilers because a lot of it I might even be getting wrong. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, I this is from this is from me watching it as as a as a as an elementary schooler. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was gonna I I, I kind of got sidetracked, but I was gonna state how back then I was aware Lost was a thing. It just I wasn't too big on the ooh, what's gonna happen next episode kind of shows. I I was more into my. I was still mm-hmm. into my cartoons and stuff, so. Well, when I was in Germany, I didn't get cartoons, or I only got <laughs> cartoons for about two hours a day, so. <laughs> and on certain days, too, because sometimes it was just only Full House on, on the Family Channel, and just, like, a bunch of shit like that, so. when And that was, like, the prime time the whole family sits down, we all watch Lost. Like, that's, because that's the only show that, like, for anybody to watch, too, because it's just, like. AFN is for context. Uh, I, I'm an army brat, and yes. uh, when you go overseas, if you want uh, to have American TV, you have to get uh, the the uh, there's like a donated uh, military one that you can like you get a discount to subscribe to through the military, and uh, they give you all the like backwash of American television, <laughs> 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 like anything that's cheap. You know, uh, yeah. uh, that's why I a- anything I've seen, that's donated. I have seen the first probably like five seasons of Yu Gi Oh, each probably almost like twenty <laughs> times. <laughs> oh because, god, that's terrible. Because even because they they would start Yu Gi Oh, they'd play the first season, and then before they'd ever like do the second season, even though that it was like behind, they'd play the first season again so you'd have to like wait for each of those to come out each day too and then you'd finally get the second season and then the third season would come out but oh before we can watch the third season got to do the first season got to do the second season then we can finally get to the third season and oh fourth season oh we need to stretch this out got to watch the first season again (laughs) hey hey, madness madness You get get so boring. I don't want to watch it again. I just want to see the new thing. I just, I just need cartoon. Because Simpsons only comes in the summer. (laughs) That's the only time we're permitted to have Simpsons. You fucking bastards. (laughs) Uh, I Uh. hated AFN. (laughs) But, but what was cool is that with uh, Lost, it, it actually came on like not too far from its release in the u.s too so that was a big special thing so on on the military base like everyone's everyone's fucking watching lots it's a big thing (laughs) (laughs) uh yeah that uh that would have been a a nightmare to to i i think uh we we did away with cable around like 2008 and we didn't have cable for the longest time but for some reason uh adult swim would work like mm. for a couple of hours each night, and that's actually how I watched Soul Eater. For some reason, mm-hmm. it just like would come available to me at night, 
as soon as like Soul Eater would come on, like the perfect time, and I was just like, ah. Oh. And that's how I uh, man never Soul never got in me. Yeah. Oh I mean, man. Other than uh, <laughs> I, I I definitely grew up with the uh, th- the three big Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and and Cartoon Network. That was my jam. I uh, just mm-hmm. uh, uh, especially Cartoon Network. Uh, Ed Ed and Eddie. It definitely holds a special. It it holds such a special place in my. I I really. It's hard for me to to rewatch it. Because mm-hmm. it it just it, it's it's too nostalgic for me. It's like uh, I. I I just want to be back in there, back in those days. With, yeah, uh, watching Ed, it on. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Ed, and Ed, Eddie, uh, uh, reruns would come in the summertime sometimes. That oh, nice. Too. That's that's cool. That that's good. That's good. You got that show. That that's a very that that was my favorite cart. <laughs> that was definitely my favorite cartoon growing up, for sure. Mm. That and the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That that was my jam yeah. as well. I remember because and I I did. I did have like a little bit of time with Cartoon Network when I was in Oklahoma and then it got ripped away in my, when I went to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> and, but then I came back yeah, and I came back and was enamored. It was like seeing like <laughs> new cartoons. I'm like, shit, Cartoon Network has new shows. <laughs> yeah, they, they, wanna, oh man. Johnny you, Bravo. <laughs> you, you probably get, uh, you probably got back when they were just, making regular show and and adventure time because that like because that would have been like 2000 when i was like in oklahoma like 2000 2001 yeah that that the golden that was the golden era for sure of cartoons <laughs> <laughs> and then and then i missed i missed a good chunk of it though i missed the latter of the of it <laughs> but i i missed a good chunk i i didn't get to get attached to the error after the all all that because mm-hmm. we, we didn't have cable yeah <laughs> i think we didn't get cable back until like after i met y'all <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think that's when we finally got cable back i didn't really get back in the cartoon network probably until they had adventure time uh yeah yeah like uh I just uh I liked the I I liked watching it the very first season but something told me that it it wasn't going to stay an anthology and, and it turned into uh, which, a serialized series which yeah. is like which is okay for cartoons but I kind of wish cartoons would stick to the format of oh each you know it's more about just watching the characters go through a wacky adventure for an episode well, well, than anything else. Well, what was weird is that it started, it started with kind of like just kind of an anthology, like anthology mm-hmm. almost in the first season. Then they started being kind yeah. of serialized. Then they went totally wacky and were like, had no storyline and those like weird animations, different animations, stuff like experimental. Then they went back to like going super serialized. Yeah. It <laughs> was, uh, I, it was very, it was too jarring for me. It, it, it was like yeah. regular show. It, they, they had a plan, but they didn't want to seem like they had a plan. I liked, I liked that. Like I, I didn't mind when they had like, uh, like mini serialized storylines going on that were separated. Like that Marceline hunting the vampire one. Was yeah. Pretty cool. That- that that was a nice one. Like I like when they did that. I I'm not gonna I, lie. Mm-hmm. I I was I, I was actually gonna move on, but you st- say your point first before I before I was gonna say mine. Oh, uh, well, I was gonna ask: Have you watched any of the uh, what what are they called? The uh, I, I'm blinking out what they're called. The the ones that they post on the HBO Max. Oh, the the, the new original. Movies. The no, I haven't watched any of those, but I've watched a review on them. Oh, you watched a review on them? Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm aware that one's about Bemo's uh back. One's actually Bemo's uh backstory, mm-hmm. and another covers Marceline and and Princess Gumball and their relationship afterwards and everything. Mm. Did did they go into the Finn one? I think so. Mm. That's probably one remember. of the best ones. That I was just can't remember. A really strong one. <laughs> I, I I remembered the Bemo one the most because I I remember that 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 was pretty shocking that they actually explained Bemo's backstory. Yeah. 
That was a pretty good one too. That was a pretty nice little ride. I think that one and the uh, and the Finn one is probably the be- better ones. Marsling one wasn't bad. I forget there was one that was kind of meh. I can't remember which one it even was. Yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. But I, I was going to say... It was the Wizard uh, School one, I think. I, I think because I, I always see all the shit posts of it on, on uh, mm-hmm. iFunny and everything. I think I, I missed the boat when it comes to uh, the Amazing World of Gumball. Mm-hmm. I I hate the I hate the art. I I fucking can't stand the art style of it. How they they have the the realist they 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 have the photo realistic backgrounds to the point where mm-hmm. I think it is just actual like photos or three D yeah. models. And then they that they have all the the re- every character has a, its own kind of like art style and everything, and, and it's a yeah. mismatch. But the the fucking every 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 shit post joke that I see uh, of them just like posting a skit or something, it it always gets like I always have to watch it because it uh, it always gets me. It's like holy shit! Like why didn't I watch the show? <laughs> because it, Those it's were pretty good moments. Yeah, uh, but I I feel like I definitely missed out on a, definitely a lot of show a TV. I think if it came out earlier, I would have really liked it. Yeah, I, I feel that it just it came out a bit too late for me. Mm-hmm. It's like one of the shows that I feel like I should actually go back and watch, but I'm just when it comes to the I, I call them the big the the big three like Steven Universe, a uh, regular show mm-hmm. in Adventure Time. I just I can't get into them. Like they're not bad or anything. It's solid mm-hmm. animation. I just, especially Steven. I I tried to get into Steven Universe, but that's just, a hard one. That I I really like that show, but there's a lot of things that I that I let by. There's some. There's a lot of things that like I I fast forward. <laughs> some of the music I can't stand. Uh, I I I just. I, I hated how it it kind of went too. I just I, I I I know I just I feel that it, they just they tried too hard with the message that they were trying to portray. Mm-hmm. Like they they uh, they eventually the the message that they were trying that they, they were very blatantly obvious to the point where they was like, "Hey, the, this is the mess." That they were basically telling you what the message of the the show was and it's just like why <laughs> mm. like the, there's no fucking point and i i really hate the the pink diamond and rose quartz being the same person twist that's stupid as fuck i i, I don't fucking care what anybody that's the dumbest plot and 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 uh steven universe being just like the resurrection of rose quartz I actually like that if they went a little darker with it. If they did go a little, or did they? They there's actually some points when they did because like there was like a lot of points where like Stephen would find like people that were actually affected of of when Rose was the diamond. I mean, she was still like I don't know, but this is what I actually hated that they I, I wish that they totally dropped the ball on was that like the the diamonds are like fucking awful evil dictators that like destroy people. <laughs> oh, but they they retcon that to where they they're not malevolent being, they're just misunderstood parents. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of have to do that too, but cuz like in Steven's actively uh he he's not comfortable being around them. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. But uh I don't know. It, it it was just kind of too easy, too quick of a change. They they should have went more into him actually trying to, like, implement a whole giant new like way of thinking on on a, on a culture that's like, like basically is has eugenics going on. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They just they just really, I don't know. They just totally just did the whole like friendship conquers all type of thing. 
and, and it's kind of like the, not only that but they they also try to you know you, you're not you, you you can be whatever you want to be you don't have to be what people label you as cuz that's what i i think the movie really did it did it pretty pretty well uh the movie that came after cuz like the villain in it is like this she's basically like was designed to be a toy for the diamond but you know she's a sentient you know she's still a sentient gem uh, and basically rose just told her to like to stay in this one dimension and wait for her for like like thousands and thousands of years and just forgot her and left her there and she's just been standing there forever and then slowly going insane so she came back and just like is wants to kill uh steven because after a thousand years she just looks over sees that like rose turned into a a human kid that that was a i actually really liked i i didn't watch that movie but i've seen the the fight scenes from it that yeah. that was really good that that was done really well as the only song i liked <laughs> which was the villain song in the beginning of it <laughs> uh but uh since we're talking about friendship hunker dog there's a there's uh there's something that i had to uh come to grips with I actually came to grips with it, like, today. Alright, mm-hmm. so... I grew up with the Power Rangers, and as you know, the Power Rangers is, like, very near and dear to me. Yes. Well, unfortunately... There has been, like, I, I guess you would say, uh, a theory running around um, it's kind of a conspiracy theory i i'm gonna just state this now as fact uh there there is a curse on uh power rangers oh yes there there is a there is a major fucking curse on power rangers and and i've been conf- i've been trying to deny it for years but today i i finally um I found out back in 2019 that the Red Ranger from uh, Power Rangers Ninja Storm, the 2003 series, back in 2019, committed suicide. Oh, damn. Yeah, that that was just the latest. Um, they have, I believe, uh, I I don't know, I, I was just going to get into them, um, but there, there's been a series of unfortunate deaths of people that that's t- attached to the series <clears throat> like the voice of Zordon had a heart aneurysm uh uh Jason David Frank the Green Ranger's brother who played his brother in the TV show died of an unsuspected illness um didn't one of them get like like heavily bullied for being gay too oh uh the david yost uh yeah uh david yost was heavily bullied on set like while they were filming and everything by the producers and everything for being gay to the point where he finally just had to walk off and that's why his character's leaving is kind of so abrupt and you don't really see it and they had to replace him and like rewrite that uh he was an old man Mm -hmm. for an episode I think I but, remember yeah. some more deaths happening too. Wasn't there something with a Yellow Ranger too? Uh, the uh, the original Yellow Ranger, uh, the uh, 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 yeah, Ty. Tw- uh, I forgot her. I can't can't pronounce her name off off the top of my head. Uh, she played Trini, Trinity, uh, Trini in uh, the very original uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, 2000 uh, not, not 2000 uh, 1993 and 1994 mm-hmm. and she passed away in a car act in a car accident mm-hmm. but there there's also um what else who else uh, oh yeah and um the red ranger from a uh, wild force the 2000 i think that is the 2002 season of mm-hmm. Power Rangers, um, he went on to play a samurai warrior in the Power Rangers Samurai that uh, came out in 2011. Mm-hmm. And after that, he 
proceeded to stab and kill his roommate with a samurai sword. Jeez. Yep. And so he's in jail. I mean, that'll do it. <laughs> and yeah, and there's just like a bunch of like unsuspected deaths and a lot of deaths that's like very unknown illnesses and stuff like that. It, it's just attached to if it seems like if you're an, uh, an actor on on Power Rangers, it's it's evidently clear that you yeah your time is short because uh it's I could go on and on the the list is extensive like on the deaths but damn like is, there there's one, is, two, is, three, Four, is, five, is, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty deaths. Damn, <laughs> that's a that's a lot of deaths. <laughs> thirty thirty people uh that's attached to Power Rangers, and, and most of them are young and unsuspect, like. They they just automatically, automatically, uh, just get sick all of a sudden and and died. Unknown illnesses and and suspected complications and just uh, just random complications with shit. One person literally got a blood clot in his lung when he was like thirty one. Mm-hmm. Like that, it's definitely definitely a curse. Like I I tried to deny it for the longest time. I was just like, oh no, that, you know, just just death just happens but 30 separate uh 30 separate uh un and and i wouldn't be too admin on the curse but most of them are unknown illnesses and and just uh, just out of nowhere Mm -hmm. it is definitely definitely cursed yeah (laughs) yeah that uh that's pretty much all i wanted to get into to be honest yeah, that's a that's a heavy hitter's worth of uh, people. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. That <laughs> that to be honest, if I really wanted to, we we could probably cover them like in a in a short episode of Relax Talk. That we could do a Power Rangers. Uh, yeah, that's probably ah, uh, that's probably what we'll do that next week. Yeah. It, we'll do the Power Rangers curse, and we'll go. Uh, I will explain how they're connected to Power Rangers, and, and then we'll. Well, uh, I won't go into detail, but we'll, we'll, uh, share how they passed away. They're all my friends and they died. Uh, yeah, Power Rangers does hold a, a sacred place in my heart. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. It, it's just, I, I spend an unhealthy amount on the lightning collection. <laughs> <laughs> But I got I gotta get all the different I gotta get all the different Tommy Olivers I I gotta I just they just need to release two more they just need <laughs> well three more because there there's a there's a version of Lord the 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 second version of Lord Draken they they haven't released that one yet so there's three more I need the I need the Red Turbo Ranger the Black Dino Thunder and the Evo two uh the the second version of Lord Draken's costume. Mm-hmm. And then it, it will be my collection of Tommy, the, my collection of at least Tommy Oliver will be complete. <laughs> nice. Because I, I, everyone that they've released so far, I, I have, I, I even, you, you know, that I, I, I bought the, uh, the special Lord Draken, the, the third one with the cape. <laughs> then a special little case and everything. I, I hate the, I I got what I wanted. They they put a plastic protector over it, but they didn't fucking make the plastic plastic protector see through. Oh, so I got to take it off if I want to fucking look at it. Motherfuckers, <laughs> never remove from package. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, no, I it's not in it, it's not the package itself. It it's that they, they I wanted the packaging in a p- protective case. And they oh, did that. Okay. They did that, but they didn't make the packaging. <laughs> the, and they, they, gotcha. they, they, all they had yeah. to do, that what they did, they made it red and white 
all they had to do was make the red parts clear and it would look amazing but <sighs> what can you fucking do yes. but yeah that's that's um be honest uh do, is there any tv shows or anything you want to get into um well uh Oh, they, this is the, this is, we're, I, we're going to, we're reviewing Cowboy Bebop, but I, I'm putting my foot down here. I'm not watching that live action. I'm not watching it. I'll, I'll watch you for us. Yeah, that, so this, this is your. I've already watched two episodes, I have to watch it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, uh, uh, this is your, uh, you want to give your opinions on the, and your. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, I'll give yeah, I'll the... give my my general opinion on it because I didn't actually touch on it as much on the re reviews. Yeah, um, yeah, we didn't cover it at all. I think. No. Yeah, because I, I think I was about to. Then I was unsure. I'm like, am I gonna? I mean, does he want to try to do the the live action after we do this one? <laughs> but <laughs> no, no. Uh, for context, uh, I was spoiled on the radical Eds character yeah. and how they look i'm not fuck no <laughs> no <laughs> no thing already bothers me <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even gotten to her in, in, in her review yet <laughs> nope <laughs> i think she's actually next episode but uh, but, uh i know who no, you're talking they about have her, they introduced her first in this, the first episode okay well first first off they they actually i didn't mind how they started it even though it's corny as fuck I mean, this is this is how I'm gonna. If I have to describe this show in one word, it's corny. Like, gotcha. it's it's like I mean, it, it's honestly like has a charm to it, but it's the type of charm that like a really well uh, produced like YouTube fan movie would be. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you yeah. go like, oh wow, they put a lot of work into this. This is kind of cool. Oh yeah, like I could tell, but it's it's very much like cosplaying as the series and it's that's what it feels like it just feels like it's just like a bunch of cosplayers like having <laughs> fun <laughs> okay gotcha yeah well because they open up with like this uh bank heist and uh and the villain the villain in it is uh is an original one that they've made so that's why it's really bad uh he's just like He's just kind of your stereotypical, like, crazy, like, I'm the crazy guy. <laughs> you guys are the corporate assholes, man. And we should fucking ice every one of you fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, what, that's also what's kind of, like, weird is that they they kind of they kind of went, like, edgy. <laughs> but like, <laughs> which is not as distracting with the criminals, but when we get introduced to my, it, <laughs> it's, uh, she's edgy it's too. pretty fucking laughable. <laughs> It's, uh that's terrible it's it's i don't know it's like a a teenager like made that i don't know it was <laughs> gotcha gotcha so but, uh, your, your opinion on the first two episodes isn't good yeah well at least in the first part even though it was this new thing at least there i was like okay they're not trying to remake the episodes at least it's just they're doing the characters maybe they're just going to kind of do their own thing i can respect that at least i'll be getting some new content but no we go to the intro, and then the, after the intro, we are uh, remaking uh, completely the whole Red Eye story, uh, Bloody Eye, or uh, Red Eye in this one. Do they? Do I don't it, know. Do they do it scene for scene? Almost, except they they add, and I can't remember because I I had to step out and deal with Bella at one point, but I can't remember if they implied that even though because they did the scene when like the bullet goes and she starts dropping the drugs. But I can't remember if they still implied that she was still pregnant. Oh, I'd have to like, go, go back on that. Okay. Though it, it did. It seemed like that they're trying to trying to do both. That uh, that'd, that'd be very fucking weird if they did both. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just it was it was unnecessary. That's what it's just all unnecessary. Don't get me fucking started about vicious, which which I are they've already introduced <laughs> vicious. Which they vicious doesn't usually he didn't come later till like way later. Gotcha. Uh, get... um, he's a leader of the syndicate. <laughs> uh, well, he he does feel like, yeah. I don't like his design in the live action. 
no, no. <laughs> it's, and his, the vibe that he brings to it, which, I mean, Vicious is, is like an intense like Sephiroth esque character. I'm not saying like Vicious is like the most smart like he, that that he's the most original character. He's pretty he's pretty verbatim just like a Sephiroth guy. Gotcha, you know? gotcha. But this this one, man, <laughs> there's there's a there's a, a flavor of like unhinged to it that I, I can't tell I it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> gotcha, I, gotcha. I don't, I don't think it's good. I don't know. It's it's he, there's a it's just, I think that the dude just looks weird, yeah, especially I, with white hair with with that white with that white anime hair that actor just doesn't work with that I think that's honestly I don't even think I don't care I don't, I don't think this actor could actually act his way out of this not being funny <laughs> he, he, yeah to be honest like you, like you said he he definitely he definitely he heavily resembles the the dude from No Country for Old Men to the point where I wouldn't be surprised if they were related. And uh, what was even the second episode? Did we watch the second? Yeah, we did. I don't even remember what even happened they, in the second episode. They didn't introduce. I, guess I was actually pretty drunk by then. They, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised they didn't go, just go ahead and introduce Ayn. Uh Yeah, no, they they've. We've only had my. We had mine the first one. She's like, like that's my mark, motherfucker. Better fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was like, I don't know, just terribly acted. I don't. It just seems really forced. It's just I. I don't know. I. I, I really like my as a my, uh, not my. Sorry, Faye. I. I always want to say my Valentine because it's Faye Valentine, and then there's my Valentine from Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Faye Valentine. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. But uh, I, she's a lot stronger of a character in Cowboy Bebop than she is here. And uh, and uh, I, 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 I'm not, I don't care that they, they made her outfit less revealing, but I, they didn't have to give her ugly brown pants. <laughs> it's like cargo. <laughs> oh, man. They... Uh... <laughs> Which really yeah. is kind of goes against at least the Faye that I would know of her character too. I, I'm definitely <laughs> glad I'm not. Definitely glad I, I'm missing. I'm gonna just circumvent that series. I'm just gonna do it. I mean, the only thing they got right was not making Spike White. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I'm. I'm still. I still wish that they did a different actor though. Her, her, yeah, Harold. <laughs> from Harold and Kumar was a bit of a distracting choice too. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like there, there's certain like I've seen certain screenshots where he nails the look like phenomenally, but then there's others where I'm like, eh, no, no, that's definitely just Harold <laughs> cosplaying so as Spike. Flat. He plays it so flat too, because like honestly, just like after watching just how Spike is. In the in in the show, he just has so much more personality in the show. Gotcha. It gotcha. just in in the live action one, just like they mentioned once, like mm, I want some ramen noodle. <laughs> Ooh. And it's like it's it's just obviously just like yep, that's that's something that the fans would remember. Let's just play to them and not really actually touch upon it when the whole when the whole what the whole like uh, drive of of uh, at least in the beginning, like why. Uh, Spike's fucking around is that he he's driven by food <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah I, i've caught on to that in the in the anime and i, I actually like Cause, that because because he's always stuck with beefless beef and bell peppers <laughs> <laughs> beef and bell peppers with no beef, beef. Bell peppers with no beef <laughs> uh. at least he gets that <laughs> Yeah, so uh, definitely uh, for just some 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 of the wild design like set design choices, I guess uh, is like kind of charming. But I I give uh, the live action series so far just a two. Got you, got you. Uh, it gets a, a two. It it gets a fucking. I haven't watched it, but if I have to, I already know that it's gonna get a Jeff Goldblum. I bet if I watch it any further, it, it probably will. <laughs> I just like, know that they're going to fuck up something really crazily. 
it, it's... and I didn't like to look at that uh, at that end either. <laughs> yeah, that 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 uh that that was the final like because I was interested. I was interested. I was like, yeah, we might tackle the live action seat. But once I saw that, I was just like, oh no! <laughs> you can you could tell that I think you're gonna be annoying <laughs> yeah i just no <laughs> the, the, yeah it's like i uh, like i i really hope he that that's like the one thing that i i hope we never had like e- even if we are being like if we got a patreon and, and requesting i i might refund everybody their their money that month because no you see this <laughs> is no. and this is the problem we haven't gotten to ed yet and i'm not gonna go super into ed but other than that you can't have an Ed and not have, uh, not have them be be animated. Gotcha. Just because otherwise you're just annoying. I mean, like it's the whole like the whole annoyingness of Ed is is actually funny too, just because of how odd Ed moves in the show. Just like a spidery, like weird rubber hose child. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Gotcha. A rubber hose cartoon person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, it's definitely. In their own world, but somehow it can just, yeah. But I won't go anymore. <laughs> Gadget. Gotcha. All right, so uh, we've gone uh long enough for this relaxed talk. It's a bit short, but you know that that that's what this that's what this is for. Mm-hmm. Um, if you've been listening this long, thank you, of course, as always, of course. Like or leave dislike in the comment section, or go ahead and. Uh, try to open up a discussion about television. That, yeah. That's fine. We can always de- continue this. Uh, this was just supposed to be a lighthearted topic. Yeah. Um, share the video around, if you will, please. Uh, subscribe to the channel and oh, wait, turn wait, on wait, notifications. And which, which, which one of the big three uh, regular shows, Steven Universe, Adventure Time, is your favorite? Or which one of them do you hate the most? Uh, Adventure Time, uh, regular show, and Steven Universe. Um, yeah, my favorite would be Adventure Time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steven Universe, I could take or leave it. Uh, mm-hmm. it's a series that I don't care exists, <laughs> but it's not a series that I'm like, uh, it shouldn't exist because I understand I that it. It's got a a regular def- show. <laughs> Fucking hate regular show. You hate I regular can... show? No. Yes, I fucking hate regular show. I cannot fucking stand regular show. I fucking love regular show. The fucking the art style. the The art style alone it is terrible to me. I hate the and fucking uh, the the two main characters are insufferable. Uh, there there is no really likable character for me. Uh, fucking, I can't. I guess, I, yeah, I can see why, but uh, though other than can, that, it's it's weird. Can, at, at first, you you think you think that Rig, in the beginning of the series, you'll think that Rigby is the worst character, but then slowly you'll see that the only character that has any type of growth is Rigby, and Mordecai truly is. Yeah, yeah, the monster. I, 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 I'm very aware <laughs> of the. I'm very aware so of the. I'm very aware of Mordecai. Yeah, I, I, he's a douchebag <laughs> that like just wants to get laid and shit. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> and Rig and Rigby is actually has never uh, actually focused that and just happened to get a girlfriend just yeah. out of just being a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it, yeah, that's that, my good dude. Even though he's he's terrible in, yeah, in other other ways. I'm I'm very <laughs> aware that they they kind of subvert and change the characters. It's just uh, they they serialized. That and they they serialized it from the very beginning. They just want it to be a little more chaotic with it. But it's a serialized show from the very beginning. Like it's very planned. And mm-hmm. there, like I said, there's there's not a single likable character. My my fucking they they. <laughs> you don't know how. Not even, not even skips. <laughs> Okay, okay, skips maybe, but I I haven't had enough time with skips. Was all every sh- episode that I watched, skips is always just a background character. He's never the foreground, and and he's never like he becomes popular. Much more the foreground like, later. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. But uh, and then you have fucking the god awful. 
I hate him so much. Muscle Man. I love Muscle Man. Man. I fucking yeah. hate Muscle Man. He's my, least, <laughs> he's my least favorite character. The the my mom joke is like <laughs> it, it. They did it too much. They did it too much. I I would understand. It would be funnier if they like just randomly did it every so often. But it seems yeah. like. It seems like every time Muscle Man was on screen, they'd have to try to get a my mom joke out of it. And it's just like, okay, yeah, cool. You're, you're, you're getting to the joke before someone else does. That That's funny. <laughs> let's let's just... move on. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite line from him was, this ain't a party until there's tits and these don't count when he points at his own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that, see, see, that would have been good, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he followed up with that. You don't know who else would say that? My mom. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the the follow up joke. <laughs> uh, <just>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. I, I, I hate to say it, but there, there's no justifying that that one on running i get that it's a running gag but it's too much of a running gag and high five ghost <laughs> uh that that it's such a fucking non-character to just like... <laughs> and then and then and then they make fucking um what was his name pops the the pops pops is the pops is the, the, the fucking the main character <laughs> the, the, the whole well, he, time he's... The whole time guess, he's the main yeah, character. In a way. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the just pops. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, uh, to to be honest, the the only person that I liked was the gumball machine, and I I can't even fucking. Oh, Benson. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the only one that I like, and it's because I understand why he's so angry. <laughs> <laughs> he signed with Benson. Uh, like he just he just wants them to do their fucking jobs and mm. they're never doing their fucking jobs. <laughs> I totally understand why anybody would hate that show, but god damn it, I, I do I do enjoy that show. I did uh, drop off I, of it when I like I never like watched it all the way through again. But like then I've seen I, like some of the newest episodes and then I watched like the last one and I I know pops Turns out to be like the embodiment of good, and and he's got an evil twin brother that he, that he has to beat. Oh yeah, <laughs> but that's one of the things I loved about it was that the the show is just about like trying to do a mundane thing, and then it just escalating into like galaxy destroying proportions. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. I get, I get the 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 title just because someone didn't want I... to set the chairs or. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get the title is it, supposed to subvert your, you know, it's it's a regular <laughs> show, and then nothing's regular about it. I I understand that, but mm. it it doesn't make it doesn't make for good television. <laughs> I I would rate it a three point five. If regular if, show, if it was a YouTube series, I would be more accepting of it. But since it's an actual television series with a budget behind it and and a writing team and, and everything else. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely a one. <laughs> definitely a solid <laughs> one for, for a regular okay. show. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's. I do not like that show whatsoever. There, the, like I said, there, there. I could probably, if I really, really uh, thought about it, I could probably come up like, like I said, Vincent is a good character. Skips is. I I, I didn't get enough time with Skips. I'm not gonna. Not gonna hate that character because he he's a background character for most of and also it's Mark Hamill. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I can't 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 <laughs> this Mark Hamill too tough. <laughs> I like uh, I like I just I just like I, and I want to see the. There's there only one reason that I actually want to do like a full rewatch of the the show probably still by myself, but still I want to do a rewatch of it because Mark Hamill said that. He went in thinking that Skips was like a albino gorilla, but then he said he had when he found out that Skips was a yeti, like like in the middle of like I don't even know if they're like what season they're on. He said he had to change how he played the character 
Oh, which wow. I don't know how or how that <laughs> even translated. <laughs> Or, or why he's putting that much thought into it? Because <laughs> Mark Mark Hamill's a damn good voice actor. But and, I, and also just knowing Mark Hamill too, I don't know if that's also a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know for a fact that it's not a joke. Because <laughs> I, I, but I could also see because I mean he's he has a pretty like subtle sense of humor too that he <laughs> he could. <laughs> He could have just said that as a joke. <laughs> that <hit> her, <laughs> to change the whole way that he had to play the character. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, uh, yeah, that definitely. Now skips, skips, because you probably didn't get past the first season. Skips is a very much just kind of like a background I, person in that. Then he becomes more of like in the group. I, I, I would, now, I, I did get past the, I didn't watch a whole season, I would, I would tune in every so often, I, I would give, I, it's not like I'm outright hating the show out of just a few episodes, I did try to get, I did, I, I gave, I tried so many times, <laughs> I was like, I am, maybe, maybe it's just the episode I'm watching, maybe, maybe I just gotta watch a few, mm. and it just, it, it never clicked with me, and it just it, that's, each episode there, that I watched yeah, would get worse and worse. Each episode is could be, could be different. Each up like a lot, there's a lot of hit and miss episodes types. Of, yeah, that, like, that's, that's why I can't give it like a four. Yeah, that that's probably what the old like I I just ended up seeing a lot more misses than hits for me, mm-hmm. and it just like I I, I, I was going to state there there's three car- Rigby skips and Vincent that those three characters I like, but they're, they're not enough to save the series for me. They're, they're definitely. And Rigby doesn't even really become likable until like way into it. Yeah. Cause he I, actually be, gets actually a little honest, character. <laughs> I, I, I found, I found Rigby like to be the funniest, even like in his insufferableness. Mm-hmm. Like so I, don't I, think... I just like, I just enjoyed his scenes. So I don't think Mordecai gets any character growth until like just the very end. <laughs> and it's not even really good character growth. It, it's more or less him just accepting the fact that he's got to be alone for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simping. Because he, he I... ends up, I know he ends up dating that, that one chick and then ends up breaking mm. up with her for Cloud Chick. Mm. And it's just like, ah. <laughs> annoying I'd, but uh yeah I'd give so i'd probably still i i put regular show in the middle so i'd probably say adventure time adventure time oh, i don't know can i give adventure time a four though i think i'd have to give him a 3.5 too i i would give adventure time a, a three adventure time's a three for me it's a definitely an average cartoon if they didn't serialize it and they just kept it more anthology based, that it would have been it would have been better hits, for me. Though, it hits hard. I have to give it a three point five. You know what? I'll give regular show a three, and then I'll give Adventure Time a three point five. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. For... And then Steven Universe, I'll give a, th- I'll give a three as well. Steven Universe would get a two point five from me. It's it it just. I don't know. It's, it, it's close, but I just remembered there's some of those those early episodes that I just thought I, I really yeah. like the art and they just had a, a nice little feel good thing and it wasn't it wasn't too cringe yet. <laughs> I, I, I will say some shit posts that I've seen have made me emotional and that's why mm-hmm. it's that's why it's getting a two point five. It's mm-hmm. it, I I have seen some scenes that do kinda hit home to me, but it just what I have to put up with to get to those scenes is just mm-hmm. not worth it. Gotcha. Yeah, I understand that. But I get. I, I definitely give it a low three. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely a high two point five. I I will say that, but it just it, it's not for me. It's definitely for a different generation. Hmm. All right. So mm-hmm. that. That actually got us to an hour, so we can oh, definitely, yeah. we can definitely no, cut it. Now. Yeah, we can definitely end this now. Um, go ahead and do an, another outro. Uh, if you've been listening this long, thank you so much again for uh, 
listening this long. Uh, please like or dis or comment, dislike, and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And we will be probably back next week uh, covering the Power Rangers curse. Yeah. Uh, this will be a bye bye. Bye bye. <clears throat>